once again welcome back to the video series on max revision made meticulous day 13 integration by parts <coughs> revision as the name suggests means looking back over previously learned information ensuring that it is clear and fresh in the mind five questions per day from selected topic is presented at this video series the steps in answers are supported by the ideas used for getting the answer in integration by parts, we will take two functions u and v. Both are differentiable functions. We visualize the integral as u into dv, the first function into derivative of the second function. And the formula for integral u dv is uv minus integral v du. You have to find u and dv and we have to get the value of du and v. Now what are the steps involved in integration by parts? Identify the function u. Then the remaining whatever inside the integral sign will become dv. <coughs> Immediately differentiate u to get du and integrate dv to get v. Then apply the formula integral u dv minus is equal to uv minus integral vd. Identification of u is very important. Let us go for the next type where exponential function and polynomial are coming. You know what are exponential function? e power something. Then you have to take u as the polynomial because only when you take u as a polynomial it will get reduced suppose that the integral x into e power x u should be taken as x dvs e power x dx suppose if it is x square into e power 2x u should be taken as x square dvs e power 2x into dx suppose if it is x square minus 2 into e power minus 2x here the polynomial is x square minus 2 that should be taken as u and dv should be taken as e power minus 2x dx let us move on to problems now. x into e power x, which should be taken as x? u. u is equal to x. Then dv is equal to e power x. du is equal to dx. Immediately differentiate u to get du. Integrate v to get dv to get v. Put it in the formula u into v. Therefore, x into e power x minus integral v du e power x dx. What is e power x dx? It is e power x only. For answer is x into e power x minus e power x plus c. Let us move on to the problem where the power of x is increased. For example, x square, x cube like that. Let us take x square into e power x. Here, we have to apply integration by parts twice. Let us start. u is the polynomial, x square. dv will be the remaining e power x dx. du is 2x dx and v is e power x. Put it in the formula u into v. x square into e power x minus integral v du. e power x into 2x into dx v du 2 comes out therefore x into e power x dx now already we have seen this problem again apply the integration by parts take u as x dv as e power x du as dx and v as e power x put it in the uv form uv minus integral v du form now u into x therefore x into e power x minus integral v du therefore e power x dx we got the answer as minus 2 times x in d power x minus e power x 2 can be brought inside and you got this answer well, suppose if it is x cube you have to repeat the integration by parts more than one more time for x square e power x we are doing integration by parts twice sometimes when you do substitutions the problem will get reduced to problem of polynomial and exponential it is x power 5 into e power x cube dx Write it as x square into x cube. x power 5 is written as x square into x cube. Now, the derivative of x cube is inside. Therefore, put t as x cube, dt as 3x square. Now, you have only x square dx inside the integral sign. Therefore, it is dt upon 3. Now, substitute now. For x cube, it is t. For e power x cube, it is e power t. For x square dx, it is dt upon 3. 3 is coming out. Okay, once again we are visualizing it as polynomial and exponential. Put u is equal to t, dv is equal to e power t, du is equal to dt, v is equal to e power t. Now put it in the formula now, 1 by 3 into u into v, therefore t into e power t minus integral v du, therefore e power t into dt. Very simple now, t into e power t minus e power t plus c. We have to do the resubstitution, wherever t comes, replace it by x cube. 
for 1 by 3 into x cube into e power x cube minus e power x cube plus c. Again, this is a problem where we can apply substitution and convert the problem into polynomial and exponential. But root x is there. For what you have to do is multiply and divide by root x. Then it will become x upon root x into e power root x. Whose derivative is inside? You are having the derivative of root x inside. Now let me take t is equal to root x dt is equal to 1 by 2 root x into dx. Now, everything can be resubstituted now except that x. What is the x now? Okay, dx upon root x is 2 dt by cross multiplying. What is x now? It is t square. Therefore, x should be replaced by t square, root x to be replaced by t and dx upon root x to be replaced by 2 dt. Let us try now. x should be replaced by t square e power root x to be replaced by e power t and dx by root x is 2 dt. Now you got a 2 into integral t square into e power t into dt. Once again it is here algebra into exponential. We will continue. Which to be taken as u t square. dv is e power t dt. dv is 2t dt and v is e power t. Put it in uv minus integral v d u form. u is t square v is e power t therefore t square t power t minus integral 2t into e power t into dt. I am expanding it. It is coming as 2t square e power t minus 4 into t into e power t dt. Once again it is a problem where we have to apply integration by parts again. Again start u is equal to t dv is e power t du is dt and v is equal to e power t. But very thorough you can directly do it also for minus 4 into uv for t into e power t minus integral e power t dt. Therefore, when you apply that integral, it is e power t, you can expand it. Now, you have to do the resubstitution. What are the resubstitution? x is t square and t is root x. Therefore, wherever t square comes, replace it by x. Wherever t comes, replace it by root x. Final answer, 2 e, 2 x into e power root x minus 4 into root x into e power root x plus 4 into e power root x plus c. Here we have uh, used that idea that by doing some substitutions, the problem is getting reduced to a problem of integration by parts. Once again, let us go to question number 5, where it is sin 2x into e power sin x dx. What is sin 2x? It is 2 sin x cos x. After writing it as, now I am visualizing that the differentiation of sin x is inside. Where I will put t is equal to sin x, dt is equal to cos x dx. For inside the integral sign, 2 comes out, sin x to be replaced by t and cos x dx to be replaced by dt. Therefore, the problem will become t into e power t. Sin x is t and cos x dx is dt and e power sin x is e power t. Already we have seen this, take u as t, dv as e power t and v as e power t. d is equal to dt and v is equal to e power t. Put it in uv minus integral v d u form t into e power t minus integral e power t dt. Answer is 2 into t into e power t minus e power t plus. Now you have to do the resubstitution. Wherever t comes, replace it by sin x. 2 into sin x into e power sin x minus e power sin x plus c. Here we have used the formula of sin 2x. After that we are converting it in terms of t by substituting t is equal to sin x because the derivative of sin x is inside the integral sign. After that, the problem gets reduced to a problem of integration by parts involving algebraic function and exponential. Success is dependent on efforts. All the best. Thank you.